Sung Dao Li is a Chinese-American physicist, known for his work on parity violation, the Li model, particle physics, relativistic heavy ion physics, non-topological solitons, and solid and stars. He holds the rank of University Professor Emeritus at Columbia University, where he has taught since 1953 and from which he retired in 2012. In 1957, Lee, at the age of 30, won the Nobel Prize in Physics with Franklin C. N. Yang for their work on the violation of the parity law in weak interactions, which Qian Xiong Wu experimentally verified in 1956, with her so-called Wu experiment. Li was the youngest Nobel laureate after World War II until Malala Yousafzai was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 2014. He is the fourth youngest Nobel laureate in history after William L. Bragg, who won the prize at 25 with his father William H. Bragg in 1915, Werner Heisenberg, who won in 1932 also at 30, and Malala Yousafzai. Li and Yang were the first Chinese laureates. Since he became a naturalized American citizen in 1962, Li is also the youngest American ever to have won a Nobel Prize. Biography Family Sung Dao Li's ancestral hometown is Suzhou, Jiangsu Province. He was born in Shanghai. Li's father Chun Kong Li, one of the first graduates of the University of Nanking, was a chemical industrialist and merchant who was involved in China's early development of modern synthesized fertilizer. Li's grandfather Chong Tan Li, was the first Chinese Methodist Episcopal senior pastor of St. John's Church in Suzhou. Li has four brothers and one sister. Educator Robert C. T. Li is one of TDS brothers. Li's mother Chong and brother Robert C. T. moved to Taiwan in the 1950s. They were jailed in Taiwan during the White Terror. Early life. Li received his secondary education in Shanghai, Suzhou. Due to the Second Sino Japanese War, Li's high school education was interrupted, thus, he did not obtain his secondary diploma. Nevertheless, in 1943, Li directly applied to and was admitted by the National Chekiang University, now Zhejiang University. Initially, Li registered as a student in the Department of Chemical Engineering. Very quickly, Li's talent was discovered and his interest in physics grew rapidly. Several physics professors, including Xu Xingbei and Wang Gongchang, largely guided Li, and he soon transferred into the Department of Physics of National Chekiang University, where he studied in 1943-1944. However, again disrupted by a further Japanese invasion, Li continued at the National Southwestern Associated University in Kunming the next year in 1945, where he studied with Professor Wu Taiyu. Life and Research in U.S. Professor Wu nominated Li for a Chinese government fellowship for graduate study in U.S. In 1946, Li went to the University of Chicago and was selected by Professor Enrico Fermi to become his Ph.D. student. Li completed his Ph.D. thesis under Fermi in 1950. Li served as research associate and lecturer in physics at the University of California at Berkeley from 1950 to 1951. In 1953, Li joined Columbia University, where he remained until retirement. His first work at Columbia was on a solvable model of quantum field theory better known as the Li model. Soon, his focus turned to particle physics and the developing puzzle of KMS and decays. Li realized in early 1956 that the key to the puzzle was parity non-conservation. At Li's suggestion, the first experimental test was on Hyperion decay by the Steinberger group. At that time, the experimental result gave only an indication of a two-standard deviation effect of possible parity violation. Encouraged by this feasibility study, Li made a systematic study of possible PTC and CP violations and weak interactions with collaborators, including C. N. Yang. After the definitive experimental confirmation by C. S. Wu and her collaborators of parity non-conservation, Li and Yang were awarded the 1957 Nobel Prize for Physics. In the early 1960s, Li and collaborators initiated the important field of high-energy neutrino physics. In 1964, Li, with M. Nauenberg, analyzed the divergences connected with particles of zero rest mass, 
and described a general method known as the KLN theorem for dealing with these divergences, which still plays an important role in contemporary work in QCD, with its massless, self-interacting gluons. In 1974-75, Lee published several papers on a new form of matter in high density, which led to the modern field of RHIC physics, now dominating the entire high-energy nuclear physics field. Besides particle physics, Lee has been active in statistical mechanics, astrophysics, hydrodynamics, many-body system, solid-state, lattice QCD. In 1983, Lee wrote a paper entitled, Can Time Be a Discrete Dynamical Variable, which led to a series of publications by Lee and collaborators on the formulation of fundamental physics in terms of difference equations, but with exact invariance under continuous groups of translational and rotational transformations. Beginning in 1975, Lee and collaborators established the field of non-topological solitons, which led to his work on solid and stars and black holes throughout the 1980s and 1990s. From 1997 to 2003 Lee was director of the Reichen BNL Research Center, now Director Emeritus, which together with other researchers from Columbia, completed a 1 teraflop supercomputer QCDSP for lattice QCD in 1998 and a 10 teraflops doc machine in 2001. Most recently, Lee and R. Friedberg have developed a new method to solve the Schrödinger equation, leading to convergent iterative solutions for the long-standing quantum degenerate double wall potential and other INST Anton problems. They have also done work on the neutrino mapping matrix. Educational activities Soon after the re-establishment of China-American relations with the PRC, Li and his wife, Jeanette Hui Chun Chin, were able to go to China, where Li gave a series of lectures and seminars, and organized the CUSPI, China U.S. Physics Examination and Application. In 1998, Li established the Chun Tsung Endowment in memory of his wife, who had died three years earlier. The Chun Tsung Scholarships supervised by the United Board for Christian Higher Education in Asia, New York, are awarded to undergraduates, usually in their second or third year, at six universities, which are Shanghai Jiao Tong University, Fudan University, Lanzhou University, Suchow University, Peking University, and Taiwan National Tsinghua University. Students selected for such scholarships are named Chun Tsung Scholars. Personal Life Chin and Lee were married in 1950 and have two sons, James and Stephen. Lee reads whodunit novels when not working on physics. The English spelling of his given name, Tsung Dao, differs dramatically from the Chinese romanization systems in use at the time of his childhood, Wade Giles and Gua Yu Tsung Dao Lee's publications are all under the name of T.D. Lee.